We all knew this day would come, but no one knew when. After nearly three years and 72 flights of a planned one month and five flight mission, Ingenuity had a mishap that ended its flying career. But it's not dead yet. On this episode of Mars Guy, what started out as a modest technology demonstration to prove that a helicopter could fly in the exceedingly thin atmosphere of Mars and operate autonomously morphed into a full-blown exploration of its flight envelope and scouting potential. Both wildly exceeded expectations. But the last two flights in a field of sand ripples with few features for reference pushed the limits of Ingenuity's autonomous navigation system. Flight 70 was the last to execute successfully. Here's the starting point captured in the SOL before with this great image from Ingenuity's color camera processed by Simeon Schmaus. It nicely shows three of the four foot divots from the landing of the previous flight, which was an out and back to the same spot. Note for future reference the amount of disturbance of a typical landing, including shown by the foot in the current spot. Ingenuity took off and followed a path to the northwest before turning about 90 degrees, presumably at a pre-designated waypoint. It continued on a heading southwest, where it crossed into the largest set of sand ripples yet flown. Notice how few rocks are evident the further in it goes, features it uses for visual navigation. When Ingenuity reached the far end of the flight, it stopped to capture this view. Here's Mars Guy for scale. It shows the gap in the rim of Jezero Crater where the channel enters. Ingenuity then turned back to the southeast, flying about 30 meters to where it maybe spotted a few rocks helpful for navigation, and then decided to land in this location among some smaller ripples. Here's the view from the forward-looking camera. Small waves of sand and dust caught in their super slow-motion, wind-driven march through Eretva Vallis. The next flight, number 71, was supposed to fly west for two minutes and nearly 360 meters. Instead, it flew northwest for about 35 meters, then turned more westerly for another 30 before landing prematurely after only 35 seconds. A color image taken the next afternoon shows evidence of a harder than usual landing. There's a pronounced spray of sand and a fairly large divot made by the right foot. This all adds up to an emergency landing, maybe due to navigation problems. Flight 72 was intended to be just a pop-up flight for localization, flying up to an altitude of 12 meters, hovering, and landing after 32 seconds. If the map is right, Ingenuity flew several meters to the west, although this was not reported by the team. Data from this flight indicated a successful climb to the designated 12 meters, but then loss of communications during the last meter of the descent. Communications were re-established on the next SOL with no indications of concern. It would take another couple of SOLs to get the first images back, and what they revealed was heartbreaking. The shadow of the formerly tapered tip of one of the rotor blades shows it's now horribly shattered. There's a tiny piece of what likely is carbon fiber from the blade nearby. There appears to be a couple more pieces in a deep gash in the sand that likely is where the blades, spinning at more than 2500 RPM, made contact. Somehow, Ingenuity managed to stay upright, skidding to the left as it landed. You can see in a later image a trough made by the left foot as it slid through the spray of sand from the blade contact. A set of images from the nav cam taken a couple of saws later shows the shadow of another blade that's clearly shattered. That means both the upper and lower blades of the counter-rotating rotors made contact, so it's likely all four suffered the same fate. Here's my primitive attempt to visualize this scenario using a scene from a similar sand ripple explored by Perseverance on the floor of Jezero Crater. Ingenuity can't possibly fly again, but 
thanks to the fact that it didn't go tumbling off into a heap of twisted parts, all of its systems are still working. So amazingly, it can still send back remaining images and take new ones, maybe even a rotor spin test to view all four blade shadows. Unfortunately, Perseverance will not be able to get closer than a few hundred meters, thanks to the large ripples in the way that could be a rover death trap. But maybe the two will continue to communicate well into the future as Ingenuity enters a new phase, serving to test the longevity of its off-the-shelf batteries, processor, and other systems. So, as if to ease its way out of the lives of millions of followers, Ingenuity's first catastrophic mishap didn't actually end its mission, only its ability to fly. <laughs>